electoral processes or during electoral period. Just a minute, Mr. Um, Aleke. We understand that the um, the candidate, um, one of the contenders in this election, has just cast his vote. Athan Achono will now address the press uh, as we look forward to hear what he thinks of the process. We've heard earlier from the governor of Bayelsa State and another uh, candidate in Kogi State who seem to have good things to say about the INEC and its preparation for this election. Well, Achono will now address the press as regards um, what is experienced thus far and what he feels about the process. It's important uh, that um, INEC is seen to have improved because they say that's the essence of, you know, this of cycle elections to improve on um, what has happened. For instance, an election is coming up now eight months uh, after the general election. Quite a number of issues have been raised with INEX preparation, logistics, and the arrival of officers and um, officials and materials on election day. Hopefully that has remarkably been improved. Uh, How do you feel doing that? I feel great. I have uh, great hopes for our democracy. I, I believe that uh, Mr. President intends to give us a free and fair election. Okay. Um, what is your opinion about the turnout? Because uh, what it's, what's become manifest is that, um, I mean, uh, what would you put it down to Putra Party? Uh, what's happened? Why do you think that not many people are out and about you know, trying to do the same thing? No, a lot of people will come. Even my own family, my brothers uh, are still coming. All right. Do, do you feel safe? And, of course, um, the voters. Do you think the voters feel safe to come out and vote? Because that could be the reason why... Yeah, you know, at first they were, uh, were feeling threatened by the unusual, you know, uh, security movement. Presence of armored uh, personnel carriers and so on, moving everywhere. A number of soldiers. I've never seen such number of soldiers and policemen before in our vicinity. So, but we've tried to reassure them that they're here for their own protection. They're here to protect the process. So they'll be coming out. Mm -hmm. So we've heard some report that there might be diversion of some electoral material in the weary north. Have you heard about this? Well, yeah, we've heard. We've also heard in Inalo that they moved uh, the also electoral materials. They moved it to a particular traditional last house. We're still trying to verify those, uh, uh, the information. And also, we hear that there are cluster voting. So, so all these things. We need to verify them before we go public. Well, what are your major concerns going forward? Well, going forward, my major concern is that uh, we still believe that their plan, like we've been shouting in the media all this while, they have, they have so many thugs camped in so many hotels. We've alerted the security agencies. They have not taken any action. And we think that their plan is to hijack the uh, this thing, uh, tour be, before the collation centers and then try to insert all the results we are here that they have written. But you have a generally, plan? What's your, generally, what's your impression about the conduct of INEC and what's going on so far about the election? Well, INEC, they are, they are doing very well so far. You see, INEC will be planning their own. The bandits will be planning their own. So let's see how it do, do you have confidence in INEC? I mean, a lot of people have, you know, vented their anger about the outcome of the presidential election and, of course, the governorship election. Do you have confidence in INEC? Do you think INEC could redeem itself with this? I mean, I'm waiting to see. So uh, I believe that is the right thing to do. If I was the INEC chairman, I would like to redeem myself with this election. Okay. All right. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.